every day. Kaya obat hipertensi. Welcome back to See the Stories on a three-hour news show. Now, we are still in discussion with neurologist Dr. Tomi Saronku here. And of course, regarding aging and brain function. Yes. Now, doctor, so how can older adults and their families plan for potential neurological challenges? Well, preventive is the key. It's always better than the treatment. Mm. So, when uh, the family members are prone to have the neurological disorders, uh, it's better to figure out the chronic illness that they're having yeah. as an elderly, get it treated, and then educate the family member about the neurological condition that the patient are having, and also make a support system and make a plans because yeah. once the diagnosis is made, yeah. we need to educate the family member what to expect and when, what's the alert sign and when to bring to the hospital, mm. something like that. Hmm. So if people are, for example, uh, said that they are having dementia, um, how, how to at least maintain like, their life, quality of life, just at least not to get worse and worse okay. you know, day by day? It's actually not as simple as that because uh, dementia also brings uh, also comes with another illness. So we treat that illness and we give the medication so mm. the, the disease is not progressing and controlled mm. and the symptoms are taken care of. And because sometimes dementia comes with another symptoms like mood changes, oh, behavioral emotions, emotions yeah. and so that is needs to be treated. So uh, first, if you are having that disease, consult with your doctor. It's not as simple as you think. If you are taking care of somebody who is old, like your parents or whoever in your family members, so what advice would you care to give to the caregivers, maybe supporting individuals because maybe that person is related cognitive changes having at that very age old? Uh, well, being a caregiver of neurological disease condition is not an easy job. Mm -hmm. It's very tiring to deal with some uh, the physical changes, mood swings, and behavior is different, and it's very hard. So, first, uh, my 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 message to the caregiver is: you need to take care of yourself also. Wow! Yeah. Prioritize your health, yeah. your mental health. Yeah. So, if you're feeling that you're anxious, having depression, mm -hmm. you have to seek help as well. Professional help. Yes. Uh, like a psychologist or yes. psychiatrist, in fact. Psychiatrist, yes. Wow. wow. So you have to be in good condition to take care of yes. yeah. other people. Yeah, right. very challenging indeed. Okay, we're not letting you go yet, Dr. Tom. Before we end our discussion with Dr. Tom, let's play Myth or Fact about your brain. Our fellow host, Hans Langer, will lead the segment. Come on down. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Doc, thank you so much for sharing all this knowledge that we haven't we're not familiar with yeah, probably yes. but uh one question before we go into our games mm. is there any food that is good for our brain uh yes there is what are those uh those with high protein high protein yes high protein food what like, about the bad ones the bad one is the the one oily processed food oh. sugary food mm. avoid that okay those are the good protein stuff the good though food. so you <laughs> ladies might want to try my chicken breast juice then <laughs> <laughs> So today we have a game Myth or Fact. I will share five statements in the plasma screen where Alia and Yanni will guess whether it's a myth or fact. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Tom will then give the correct answer and a brief explanation. All right, Doc? So these are for you, ladies. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, Alia. Yeah. And let's see if, you, if you've been a good student. <laughs> if we've All been right. listening to Dr. Tom. Okay, so let's see the first uh, statement in the plasma. Myth of fact, you use only 10% oh. of your brain. No way. That's right? No way, right? Or 10% of myth. the brain. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, I so. I don't know cognitively, I can think now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because I'm only using 10% of that. <laughs> so, both of my ladies over it's here, they, they answered Maybe myth. Yeah, is it a deny. myth or fact? Or? It's a myth. It's, it's a, a myth. myth. Yes. So, so, uh, what is the fact then? Yeah. Uh, so, we now have technologies that can detect the activation of our brain. Uh -huh. So, it's more than 10%. More than 10%? Yes, because 
we are here awake now. We, yeah. we yeah. use our listening part of our brain, yes. the visions, and for breathing, it's more than 10%. What activity does do we use our brain the most? Uh, I think it's thinking. thinking. When you're concentrating, mm. uh, your your brain needs sugary mm. for its uh, for the the fuel for it to work. Maybe well, multitasking, right? Yes. While ah. listening, driving, mm. eating, and uh, yeah. yeah, talking to your yeah phone somewhere somewhere. Okay, so that's actually correct answer. Yeah. Myth. So let's go to the second statement, Doctor. The statement is actually on the plasma. Right here. Um, the next one, left brain people are more analytical and methodical, while right brain people are creative or artistic. Um, I Which don't know. one? Am I don't know because we didn't talk about this, Doctor. <laughs> no. How can you test us you if you don't talk about it? Uh, I mean, well, I dig deeper into this, <laughs> but um, yeah. let's see. If I'm, I'm going to say. Because this should be public knowledge for quite some time, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm excuse me, I don't know. <laughs> so both, guess. both of my colleagues answered fact. Yeah. So doctor, is is it myth or fact? It's a myth. It's, it's a, a myth. myth. Yes. What? Oh no. Wait, is it is it switch? Is it what is No, it? it's a myth. Because oh. wait, so are there any left and right right brain? There is left and right brain. Yeah. But what? our brain is not as simple as that. Because oh. if there's no evidence supporting this theory, okay. because even if you're left-handed, yeah. you can still be analytical thinking, yeah. or even if you're right-handed, you can still be create, creative or oh. more into arts and something. So okay. this okay. The, the science doesn't support this theory. So, it's a myth, guys. Yeah, so our brain is not that so, simple. No. It's okay. I, I uh, emphasize again. So left-brained and right-brained yes. is actually not um, related to this uh, particular theory. So yes. Have, no. So everyone has the same potential and yes, ability. Yes. That's true. Oh. Hmm. Okay. We've been lied to all this time. Right. <laughs> Uh, okay, so something that we learned today. Yep. Um, the next question, please. Oh, here we the go. next uh, statement. Brain games improve your memory and thinking skills. Yeah, I yes, I agree. So, Doctor, what is the right answer? Yes, it's a fact. It's a fact. It's yes, a fact. because when we are playing games, of course we want to win, right? True. Yeah. So we are making strategies, we put our focus on it. So yes. it's actually train our brain to focus and yeah. reasonable. Ah. Like now, so, we're doing it for our yeah. brain. <laughs> well, what if I play uh, Candy Crush? That, that's, <laughs> that's not mine. Oh, that's not uh, well, it's it actually... Counts. <laughs> it no? counts, yes. Okay, thank you, Doctor. All right. You just want to confirm that. <laughs> okay. My friend just needed some justification for her game. <laughs> All right, can we have the next, please, the next statement. Your IQ stays the same throughout your life. Yes. Now, this is actually my I wish. I don't know. Because back in the days, mine was like 120 something. I don't know. It might it have changes, just, right? It might have just declined. I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this for you, Hans. <laughs> I'm saying this to myself, but. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Doc, what is that a myth? Current? Or fact? Well, it's actually partially facts. Partially fact? Yes. And partially myth? Myth, yes. Why is that? Uh, because actually during adulthood life, our IQ intelligence is stays the same. Uh -huh. But there are conditions that might affect our intelligence, oh. such as head trauma or yeah. diseases. Uh -huh. And as we got older, mm -hmm. our liquidity of inte intelligence is also decreased. So, yeah. Oh. But can it, can it be added? Like, yeah. <laughs> if you said part of it is a myth, is there any way to add to our intelligence? Yes, you can, you can still learn. I mean, ah, when, when you okay. feel like you're not... Be, besides, the IQ test is a lot of factors is... Uh, involved in, involved in the in the results of it. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, does do my friends also play important <laughs> parts in my IQ <laughs> being declined? Yeah, we've been feeding you some intelligence. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. It's All the right. other way around. <laughs> so actually, a lot of things have been quite a myth yeah. that we knew all of our lives when it comes to our brain and also our neurological yeah. system. Dr. Tom Saranku, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. And um, we are waiting for you to come back because um, 
obviously. We need some uh, we neurological are, we, help. We are 30 plus. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I'm 40. Oh, yeah. We <laughs> well, are 40 plus. We're 40 plus. You both don't look a day over 23. Oh, so. thank you, thank that you. makes yeah. me smarter, hon. Of course. <laughs> and see the stories will continue after the break. Stay with us right here.